Hey folks, you're watching Fishing Lake Country. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Appreciate it. Enjoy reading comments. You're going to enjoy today's video. I'm using a hand tied jig, done something a little special to it. Caught some big slabs. A couple of nice ones, guys. One of them broke two pounds. So, hey, watch it all the way through. You see this big crappy at the end. I'm going to show you how I made these jigs. Alright guys, I think this is a pretty decent one. I see any one out there. I'll tell you what, I threw it one about 15 times and then this one came through. I, he hit it the second time. Wow, he's a pig. A hog. Great time of day. What a crappy. Now guys, I caught him on a jig. I'm going to show you right now. I made this last night too. <laughs> I made a couple last night. Alright. Let me get it turned around here. Let me get it turned around here. There's a sparkle on it. That's a green body, but that's fingernail polish. <laughs> I bought fingernail polish that had blue and silver and purple sparkle in it. Look at that hog. <laughs> Great time of the day. All right, guys. I took a picture of him. All right, guys. I took a picture of him. I held him down in the water while I took, until I got my camera ready. Bam. So I got my phone ready because I stored my phone right here beside my seat. I held them in the water. I don't, I'll tell you what, if you're going to eat them, put them in the lab, I won't eat them. But like I say, if you're going to throw them back, try to do it as fast as you can. Give them a better chance of making it. Plus, right now, guys, I want them to lay some eggs. <laughs> All right, guys, I got another one. I'm just sitting here in this pocket with a spot lock on. I took it off just now because this fish got about 25 feet from the boat. I see them come to the boat when they get close to the boat. And they hear the spot lock, they're running. He's a decent one. I'm about to give him a little rod there. Lay a rod down, be out of my way, and I start fronting the stuff on coming back through here. So. All right. So what happens I just put uh, I just put Berkeley uh, crappy scent on that jig, and I got to hang on there sucking it in. Do y'all do that? Do y'all pre-soak your base a little bit, let them soak in for you? Get them and put them in the water. He's not that big. He's 10 and 3 quarter. But this is a decent crappy. Though we like catching those hogs, don't we? I see you. I'll let you go. But I'm just sitting here. It's a big pocket. You can see it in the back of the lake's right there. But the reason I'm back further today, you know, usually I'm not back this far. I've been at the mouth and been off the channel. I'm only in 10 foot of water. Because this is the warmest water now. It got, like I said, it got decently warm yesterday, but right now it's probably, it's in the 50s, 50, 52. The wind's light and this water is heating up. It's on, jumped up to, to uh, 50 already. It was 48 this morning. And I've only been up about an hour and a half. It's jumping up fast. And being at a stain like this and it's shallower, it's going to heat up more. So I think the crappie are moving back further. Hey right, guys. I didn't cut my camera onto the lake because I thought I had, had him on the, on the, on the camera on the, uh, that's on the uh, depth finder. I think I fight this fish at the same time. <laughs> He's a nice one. I know he was. I know he was the way he was fighting. I might have got a little. I'll try to get some of some. Oh my God, what a crappy. <laughs> I'll try to get some of him on the other, on the live scope camera. Oh my gosh, gosh, look at that one. I know he's a big one. Y'all see this jig? That's the one with the fingernail polish. I put a green body on it and I put, I bought this fingernail polish at Walmart last night. I was in there looking around and the fingernail polish has got silver, kind of a purple, and blue flake in it and I had some silver flake so I put the polish on her two coats and then I sprinkled the silver flake on top what do y'all think of that yeah I know I like coming up I like coming <laughs> I'm laughing at myself now guys I like coming up with new stuff to catch crappy with see so look at that hog gosh guys he's that crappy's two pounds all right let me get a picture of him me... all right guys what a hog isn't he An L jig. There's one there in the middle. There he is. My bait's pretty close to him. My bait's right at him. Did my bait come past him right there? Never moved, did he? So I don't know if it's behind him, in front of him. That's just something. That's what you don't know. You don't know exactly where that jig was. Let's try it again. I 
I'm gonna see my bait this time. There it comes. Come on, bait right there now. You see my bait come past him. See my bait on the left side of him now. But I'll keep throwing at him, guys, until he hits. All right, guys, I've done this one, the old trick I was doing to the bass back in the wintertime when I was using small swim baits around boat houses. He chased it, and how could he wasn't going to hit it? Wow, this is a nice crap if he's big as the blimp he was on the death finder. He how could he wasn't going to take it, so when I come past him, he turned and looked at it, and that was it. Swam slowly past him, so I swam it past him twice. And every time he looked at it, I would swim, I, oh my God, what a crappy. Oh my God, what a crappy. <laughs> I knew he was big. He was a huge blimp. Oh my gosh, what a crappy. Good golly, Ned. What a crappy. So I would take and reel the bait past him. He would turn around and look at it. I'd keep reeling it. <laughs> what a crappy. Oh my gosh. He's even got a brent tail. Great time out there. I hope this thing's recording. Yep. That's what, it's, that's what it won't be recording, guys, when you catch a monster like this. Now, this is on the one of my tied last night. So then what I done, I threw it back. And this time, I dropped it right on top of him. And when I dropped it past him, wind don't beat those out of my bag. <laughs> when I dropped it past him, um, he grabbed it. I mean, I seen him, I seen him come after it. My gosh, guys, he's a crappy. All right, let me take a picture of this one. Okay, guys, on my scale, he weighs two pounds, point one. My scale reads in tenths. You're going to hear me say this on another video. See you, buddy. My scale reads in tenths. You know, I got this old Berkeley scale right here. Like I said, uh, I was wondering if the battery was any good, <laughs> but it's, it must be all right. It reads in tenths. Like, watch me pull on it. Say point two. All right, four point eight, but when it when it goes to uh, nine, it goes back to a solid pound. So that means that each each tenth is one and three quarter, right? So by that he weighs two pounds, an ounce and three quarter. <laughs> I thought I seen one crappy and I threw at it and as the bait was coming by him, another fish came from nowhere and, and come up and grabbed my bait. So I don't know if he was behind the other one. I couldn't see him or what. But I can see it was still one more there after all that. Checking my drag, guys. Y'all seen a couple of these today have took drag. Especially you get them to the boat. You don't, you don't get rough on a crappie. I'm gonna get him on this side because my net's over here. <laughs> That's why I bring him across the motor. Oh, he's nice. He, I don't think he was the big one of the bunch. I don't think he was the, he's a nice one though. I've seen him many a time, I loved head him. <laughs> I loved having eight inch one sometimes, right? 10 inch one, you have to fish. Right, I got this wild color one here now, guys, that I, this, this one's got, this other one had a chartreuse body with uh, the fingernail polish on. This one had a white body I put on the fingernail polish. This got purple and blue and stuff like that. It's fingernail polish. He's 14, 14 and a half. He's a nice one though, you know? Thank you, buddy, for the ride. All right, guys. It's been a while. I said I ate a snack and thought, it, thought they quit on me too. It's been about a half an hour. But I made a big circle around his pocket. The thing is, guy, I'm not seeing many. I'm making a circle looking for him. This is, I've seen a couple I've thrown at and nothing happened. A lot of them are not paying any attention to it. I just threw it two that ran. Both of them ran. Oh, my gosh, what a crappy. Both of them ran. But I'm not looking for a little crappy now. I'm looking for big blotches on my death finder, and that's what I'm throwing at. I'm just running around with the trolling motor looking for big, for big. Okay, I'm going to move y'all a little bit, make sure y'all recording. Okay. So what do you think? That's an old fingernail polish one. Yep, it do. I bet some of y'all other guys are going to be in the fingernail polish aisle now, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> That's a nice crappy, guys. He's 15 inches. He's not, 
he's probably a pound and a quarter maybe a, maybe a pound and a, a little bit more than that but he's he's a nice cracker you know what i'm saying all right i'm gonna let you go big boy come here <laughs> he threw water in my face probably on the front of the camera too did y'all get any water on y'all I moved. Oh, wow. Part bass, I'm telling you. He's part bass. <laughs> he just throwing a fit. Oh, come in. I tell you, the water in this pocket right here is 53. I just moved to another spot. Still throwing the old fingernail polish jig. I thought I would try another spot before I go in. And he's not a monster. He's about 13 and a half. He might get 14 out of him. Uh, guys, you may get 14 out of him. There ain't nothing wrong with him, is it? He's hooked good. There it is. All right. Thank you, partner. Bam. All right. See there? Is he wearing some of the flash off of it? Is that finger polish with that flake in it gave us some flash. He knocked some of it off. It's wearing off some. I put it, <laughs> I put it over a body. I mean, I just put the Chanel around it and put it on there. <laughs> All right, guys. I lost the last one. I got another one. It's about four casts later. So I might have moved to a good spot. Quite a few moving around here, but it's that time of evening too. Now, I'm not pulling on this one. That's why I let him fly. He's not. I don't have much line out. Right there he is. I just got a little bit of line out. Now I'm going to try to slide him. That's what I'm... Oh, that's a nice one. Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> there he is. I thought I'd have lost him, guys. He made a flop right there at the bait and went under the boat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What a pig. I didn't even realize he was that big. Great time of day. Let me turn my son back to the sun so y'all can see. Great day. Look at that thing. Look at the eggs on him. That's why I'm throwing them back too, guys. I don't like clean them. <laughs> I got him, look. When you get him like that, you got him. Old fingernail polish, and they're wearing it off too. They're wearing the blue off it. This one's got a green body. I had a chartreuse body, and I put the fingernail polish over top of that. One was white, and one was chartreuse. That's the only difference was in them. And I've caught fish on both of them. Look at the belly on him. I don't, oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera's showing that or not. He's a pig. All right, guys. I took a picture of my phone. <laughs> Gone! What a pig! Oh my god, there's a guy fishing 15 feet. They're moving fast. I seen two more. There's two more at 35. I'm gonna throw at them because the ones close to the boat are hard to catch. turn toward him a little bit just enough wind to make some noise probably on the GoPro and to push me around a little bit you can see it chopping on the water and the clips I don't know what the crap is going right there in it now I just moved to this spot as I said it seems to be uh, too short again I'm ter terrible about those short today fish is not getting further from us, it's just, the boat's moving from the fish. <laughs> I say it's just enough wind. Alright, see my bait? It's right there in the area of the fish. He sees it. Uh, he was right there at it. Well, I got him. There he comes. See him coming there now? He bit the old... He bit the old, uh... Take that polish jig. Alright, guys. Hopefully I got that on the other camera. You don't know how many I threw it today with the camera on. I cut the camera off to do a bite. There was two there. If you get two side by side, usually you can catch one of them. Usually. Not all the time. But, uh... Oh. I see you. There you go. Y'all know why I net them. Look at that hog. I net these big ones. 
No, he was looking pretty good though, wasn't he? Old fingernail polish. <laughs> Look at his tail. Something big tried to eat him, didn't it? Guys, that's a 15 inch crappy. <laughs> what a pig. Gosh. Am I having fun yet? Hey folks, what do you think? Caught some nice crappie, didn't it? Had a good time. I love catching those big crappie. Let me show you this jig. Now, if you look at it, can you see the colors, the blues and the purple flake on it? I had a tied a white and a chartreuse tail. And I had a, that had a chartreuse Chanel body and I put the flake on it. And then I had another one right here. I was throwing two different ones. That one done really good. This one I used to, basically the same tail, but on the body I used a white wrapping. And then I put that flake on it, okay? And uh, let me show you what I've done. Give you all an idea. Uh, I, this is this is bucktail, guys. It comes in all colors. That like chartreuse. And I buy these little color packs of multiple colors. And that's how I top the tail. I got whites, I got blacks, I got gray. You know, I got some bright colors. And I put that on the tail. Then on the body, I use Chanel, which is just a rope, guys. It's a small rope, but you can buy in different colors. You know, and then I wrap that around her. Then I took the fingernail polish right here. Now, can you all see all the colors in that? Can you see the blues and the purples? Isn't that pretty? And I took that and brushed it on two or three times. I brushed it all over it and let it dry. Go back down later and brush it on it. Then toward the end, I brushed a bunch of it up on its back. And I took this. This is a silver glitter. So while the fingernail polish was wet, I sprinkled this on the top, on the back. So it had silver really heavy on the back. Then it had these multicolors on the side. And it worked. And that stained water, when it moved, it reflected those different colors. And they liked it. I caught 15, 16 crappy on them. There was no problem catching crappy with that. And I had a nice day because it was really windy and cold the day before. And this day was one of the warmest days we've had this year. And the water was trying to warm. It picked up a couple degrees while I was in that little pocket. I went clean to the back of a little pocket. And I just kept looking for crappy until I started seeing crappy on my death line. I stopped, fooled around them, and I started spotting them. They were scattered out in there. They wouldn't pile it up. But, you know, I would kick around the trolling motor, spot one, throw at them. Some of them I caught the first cast. Some of them I threw out and they moved out of the way. It's just the way they are right now. They're, they're spooky. They're tough to catch. But you just keep throwing it. So I just go look for another one. If I threw out one three or four times and didn't pay attention, I just turned the boat, started looking for another one. And I just kept making circles around that pocket. So what I done. Then I moved to another spot and caught a couple. So let's go to another spot. But I caught crappy, and I caught them on the. I caught them to nail. I caught them to nail polish jig. I don't know what to call it. Y'all come up with a name for it. I don't know what to call it. But I bet you this. I got a lot of guys that tie jigs that make comments on the page. I bet you some of y'all will be at Walmart buying some of this two dollar polish. You're gonna be going through the colors, and they have a lot of colors. I seen some reds and bright chartreuses, and I seen some that just silver flake, some are just gold flake. So, I'm going to be back. Next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to walk down the aisle and look around again. And see if I can come up with something else to make a jig with that I can catch crappie on. I'm doing a series. I'm catching, kind of doing a series here, guys. of catching crappie in stained water. It's raining right now, so the rain just won't quit. So, we better get used to it and come up with other ways to catch them. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, my name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. Sharing something else with you. Got to catch fish. Catching some nice crappie. On a jig with fingernail polish on it. Who would have thought, right? Hey, guys, see you next time on Fishing Lake Country.